world-class veteran video game critic Michael does life. <laughs> Oh, Michael. Folks at home. Folks at home. The hell's going on already? Folks at home. Ladies and gentlemen. We are out here. We are live. For the Last of Us Part 1 Remake launch stream. That's right, folks at home. We're live. We're ready. The Last of Us Part 1 Remake stream right here. And we're going to see if Naughty Dog has hit that home run. We're going to see if Naughty Dog has made that complete pass. We're going to see all of it here, folks. Okay, we don't expect a big turnout here tonight, but that's okay. Because, uh, well, it is what it is, but... As you can see in about nine minutes, folks, we're going to be able to launch The Last of Us Part 1 Remake. Okay, let's get some W's in this chat here. <laughs> Holy shit, Extreme Gamer, let's go, baby. Extreme Gamer donated five Australian dollars through Super Chat. Popping the cherry. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that. Extreme Gamer coming through with the five. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate you popping the cheer. We are out here, ladies and gentlemen, live for The Last of Us Part 1 Remake. We're live for The Last of Us Part 1 Remake. We're hoping that it's going to hit that home run. How is the audio? I have no way to monitor it. There's a lot of shit that is hooked up to stuff, and if you start fiddling around with things, things start breaking, so it's best to leave things be. But hopefully the audio... If it is terrible, we can get that figured out in a way that makes sense. Mr. Illwill, baby, we got that member message member for five months. Hell yeah, but we appreciate you. And again, we're here with The Last of Us Part 1 Remake. We're going to see what Naughty Dog has in store, folks at home. We're going to see what they have in store, folks at home. Okay, this is on PS5. It's, of course, console exclusive to PS5. Holy shit, where are we having? It's not popping up. Gamer D donated four dollars and ninety nine cents through super chat. Popping the cherry. Thank you, Sir Mackle. The hell is going on? Levi coming through with the two. I'm not sure why that didn't pop up on the screen, but nonetheless, we appreciate that. Levi coming through. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate you. And there it is. There must be a big delay here. <laughs> it's another great sign. We hope that we don't have connection issues, but, uh, you know, sometimes this stuff... I just updated OBS, and they have made massive improvements. I don't know what's going on, but there are, like, 20 new features that are very exciting, so... Um, we'll see how it does tonight, but we just updated OBS, and it is actually kind of exciting, okay? Very big software release. Um, uh, I got bricked when I saw that uh, OBS got updated. I'm, I'm not lying. Hell yeah, brother, we appreciate that. Can't even see the fucking screen. Oh my god. Ain't no way, bro. Hell yeah, bro, appreciate Han Solo. Flamingo. Are we lagging? Oh, hell no, encoding overloaded? Oh, fuck. It's gonna fucking do this, ain't it? Unbelievable. Encoding overloaded. That's such bullshit, dude. The encoding is overloaded? Oh, my God. Well, luckily, there's no one in here, so... If we had a big turnout, I'd be really pissed, but, you know, unfortunately... Oh, the computer is lagging. <gasps> the computer is lagging. Let me close this here. Fuck. I gotta close something. The computer's lagging. Well, Neil Druckmann is hot. That's all I can tell you. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that disc milk coming through. I gotta close this here. Okay. Is that is that gonna resurface here? Is this gonna restabilize? I think that I think that. 
Microsoft Edge is eating some resources up. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I think we have fixed the problem. Okay. Hopefully we have. Holy shit, they're coming through tonight, folks. Justin D. J. Dominate. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Holy shit, Justin D. Coming through. Let's get it, baby. We out here. That's what we're talking about. We're going to be launching The Last of Us. I, I can't even talk. We're going to be launching The Last of Us Part 1 remake here soon once it unlocks. In about uh, four minutes here. We're going to be launching it. Hell yeah, but we appreciate that coming through hard and strong, baby. How is the audio? Do I have to play this back to really test it? Maybe we should play. I don't know. Holy shit, let's go, baby. Gamer D. Gamer D. Gamer D donated $1.99 through Super Chat. Quality content, gray. Hell yeah, but appreciate a Gamer D coming through. We are out here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and I think we have solved the lagging issues already. We had to close Microsoft Edge. <laughs> we had to close Microsoft Edge. I mean... Windows 98 over here, Jesus Christ. I got so much technology running, it's not even funny. I'm sure you can hear the computer working hard, you know. It's trying to, um... Make sure this is, uh, working. We got about three minutes, folks. We're gonna see if Neil Druckmann has hit that home run. And hopefully he has. You know, there's been a lot of conversation. Is this lagging again? There's been a lot of conversation surrounding this game, and a lot of people are not happy with the price tag. A lot of people are not happy with the fact that they even remade it to begin with. But, you know, like I said, if you have a PS5 and you're a fan of The Last of Us, I don't think that, uh, I don't think that this is going to disappoint. But if you're a casual Last of Us fan or, you know, the second game soured you, I mean, probably just wait until a price drop or what have you. But, uh, yeah, this is 70. This is, uh, I guess the best thing to play on PS5 right now because, well, there's not much else to play. So in about 2 minutes and 40 seconds here, we're going to see if Naughty Dog has hit the home run. We're going to, like, we're going to play the game in a way that no one plays it before, and uh, hopefully um, we don't fall asleep. <laughs> you know? Hopefully we don't fall asleep. We might fall asleep. If we fall asleep, well... It is going to be a shorter stream, but, uh, you know, if the game puts me to sleep, I can't continue. But nonetheless, we're going to get started here momentarily, so if you're just tuning in, we're waiting for the game to unlock here. We're waiting for the game to unlock here. Okay, folks at home, we're waiting for the game to unlock. And... We'll launch it when it's ready here in just a moment. Two minutes here. The game's going to unlock in two minutes. Okay, folks, get excited. I'm going to test the... Uh, I'm going to play the audio back, so... Um, because if we have audio issues, that's not going to be fun. But we'll see here in just a moment how this sounds. Let's get excited. I think it sounds okay for the time being, but... When we have the game running, we have to balance the audio. You really have to play audio engineer on top of other things. It's really just a crazy thing. Because none of it's automatic. But this new OBS update looks uh, interesting, to say the least. There's some interesting stuff happening under the hood with this OBS update. And uh, it's kind of exciting. So, hopefully it uh, irons itself out here. And we have about 140, 140 something people in the building here. Appreciate you guys for tagging along here. 50 seconds until this unlocks. Hopefully we get to experience this in a way that makes sense, okay? I'm ready. I have my PlayStation 5 controller. Okay, folks at home, I have my PlayStation 5 controller. <laughs> Holy shit, let's go, baby. Play Cubex. Long time we'll see, baby. Let's get it. Play Cubex 13 donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate that. Play Cubex coming through, baby. Let's get it. Long time no see, guys. And here we go. 
Are you guys ready? We got 10 seconds. Ain't no fucking way, bro. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're in, baby. Neil Druckmann, The Last of Us Part 1 remake built from the ground up on PS5. It's time to get excited. Let's see these loading times here. Damn. Ain't no way. Oh, I can feel the haptic feedback already, bro. This is getting crazy. I need glasses. Like, we're talking for real glasses. Rendering mode. Guys, what do we want to do? Do we want performance? Or do we want to do fidelity? I think we're streaming at 60, but with this wonky setup here it might not even fucking work i don't know we're gonna see once we jump into the gameplay nonetheless do we want to start with 60 frames performance mode or do we want to jump into fidelity mode fidelity mode our whoa what the fuck did you guys see that bro this should be glitching are you guys seeing this there's no fucking way bro guys are you guys seeing this why does it do that? Are you guys seeing this? Let me check the chat here and see what you guys have decided. You guys want to do performance? It looks like a soap opera. You guys want to do performance? Or maybe we can always switch. It looks like a soap opera. Holy shit. Ain't no way. What the fuck? Gamer D, Gamer D holy shit. Cents through super chats. Dropping Bruce Wayne on this motherfucker. Open up the suitcase, Mackle. Get to the chop. Holy shit, we love you, baby. That's what we're talking about. Gamer D coming through with the fucking Bruce Wayne briefcase. Hell yeah, brother, we appreciate you. Gamer D, let's get that W, baby, for Gamer D. Hell yeah, brother, we appreciate that. Gamer D coming through. Thank you so kindly for the kind generosity and everyone else who has come through and supported the show here tonight. We got a smaller crowd here tonight, but that's okay because we might very well fall asleep here if Naughty Dog didn't hit that home run. Gamer D coming through. Holy shit, hell yeah, brother, we appreciate that coming through with the $50 super chat. My God, I mean, this game was 70, so we do appreciate that kind of generosity there. Helps keep the show afloat here. Um, so I guess we're going to start off with performance mode, and I don't like that. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's with this streaming rig here, but I don't like what I'm seeing right there. Nonetheless, that's not that important, okay? Let's go ahead and jump in before I fall a fucking sleep. Accessibility, I'm going to need all those options turned on because I am actually on the spectrum to say the least. So let's go ahead and start this, folks. Again, a huge shout out to everyone who is in here. And we are getting this started, folks. Okay, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Now, you guys have seen this shit over and over again. What the hell is this? Hey, no way. PlayStation Studios. Look at this right here, folks. Naughty Dog, Neil Druckmann. Now, we've already seen this game. I mean, some most people have uh, seen these cutscenes. What the fuck is going on? You know how, you notice how there's no... There's, like, very little gameplay of the Left Behind DLC. Let's just go ahead and jump in. Let's put it on very light because I can barely see what I'm looking at. And let's just go ahead and start here. We can always change things, okay? And we'll play this first cutscene stuff out, but, uh, you know, we've already... I mean, this game's been out for mul multiple years, so... Okay, the loading was pretty fairly quick there. The loading was fairly quick here. we got to figure this audio situation out. Is there game audio coming through? Where's the game audio? Okay, there's game audio coming through. Is it balanced well? Am I too loud? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, this shit looking fucking real, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it always looked good, but this, this shit's on another level. Under it, huh? 
It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Hey, please, not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. Did we put performance on? Your birthday? This might surpass the Toy Story level of graphics, guys. This very well might do it. I don't like the 60 frames. It looks like a soap opera. There's like no cinematic to it. Guys, can you hear? I'm gonna have to double check here. Oh, hell no, we're losing connection. What the fuck? Yeah, you wish. Hair looks PS3. Yeah, the game audio was low, but I mean, nothing's really happening. So we'll see. We'll see how the cookie crumbles. What the hell is going on? We'll see how the cookie crumbles here. <laughs> Holy shit, he's coming through again, baby. Let's get it, Gamer D. Gamer D. Gamer D donated $1.99 through Super Chat. Good shit, son. Let's go, baby. Gamer D coming through. Uncle Tommy, what time is it? We don't need to watch every cutscene here. How do we skip? Uncle Tommy? Hello? We're gonna do a test here. We're gonna do a test. Why is it pink? Why is this shit pink? The fuck? What was that all about? <laughs> Kinda does look like a PS3 game. I'm kidding. Guys, we're gonna do a big test here, okay? No one's done this before. We're gonna we're gonna do a big test here. We're gonna zoom in on that city, okay? And we're gonna see if they have cleaned any of that up. I get some feedback on that menu there. Oh guys, how we looking? I mean, that's pretty fucking detailed. Frame forward. The fuck's this do? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is it doing? Is, is anything moving? Doesn't do anything. Could you imagine if those like actually had 3D interiors back there? Let's get through this bullshit here. Hold on, that reflection. Dad. Same animations. The curtain's not moving. Ain't no way. Guys, did we get a position ourselves somewhere else? There we go. Daddy? It's a movie simulator. Nearby. 
Apparently they redid this. Apparently they redid this here. Oh, Jesus. Gamer D donated $1.99 through Super Chat. Hit, like, and subscribe. Mikel's best man. No, what do you mean? Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that Gamer D coming through again. Guys, how are these buildings looking back here? How are these buildings looking? What is this frame forward thing, bro? I don't understand. I thought you could... Why would you want to do that? Let's see when this explodes over here, the haptic feedback. Oh yeah. Let's see if this is PS3 fire. Now it looks pretty fucking good. We gotta get through this prologue shit. It's a total snooze fest, ain't it? <laughs> Whew. It's a total snooze fest. What does the backyard look like? Probably doesn't exist, does it? What does the backyard look like? This is their backyard, a bunch of fucking trees? Ain't no way, bro. Guys, how we doing? How we doing? Holy shit, Gamer D, he's he's here tonight. <laughs> Gamer D donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. Mackle, we out here. I'm in Malibu, California. We out here, baby. You're in Malibu. There's no way, bro. Hell yeah, brother, we appreciate that Gamer D coming through yet again. Look at this police car, guys. We're trying to look for things that no one else looks at to see if they really have gone the extra mile. I don't understand this frame forward thing. Like, are we, are we skipping time in the game? I don't understand this frame forward thing. Like, it's advancing the game, but is that gonna apply when we jump back into the gameplay? What the fuck? Bro, you can fast forward the game. The fuck? It does apply. I'm not entirely sure what the use of that is, but okay. Let's pick up the cell phone here. <laughs> this game's a snooze fest. Who the hell are you? Call me on my way. Like honestly? They should have had a mode. I think one of the Halo games does this. They should have had a mode where you can switch graphics. In real time. One of the Halo games does this or some shit like that. The Halo Master Chief Collection, okay. But they should have had a mode where you could have switched in real time the graphics. Then I think people would have would appreciate this a little easier. I guess we got some reflection here. Maybe that's on the PS3 version. Can't remember. So they, they do have a backyard. We gotta get through this prologue. It's a total snooze, ain't it? Uh oh, here comes the zombie. Can we frame forward? 
We can frame forward the cutscene. What the fuck? Very confused. That's a new feature, apparently. But let's see the zombie. Are you okay? Let's see the zombie, guys. I want to. I want to feel the haptic feedback when the zombie comes up here. Don't go near when the zombie gets closer. Stand back there. Where does the zombie come in at? Kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Something guys, how's the audio? I think they're sick. Is the game audio? <gasps> Are we really dropping frames? Deadass, we're dropping frames. There's no fucking way, dude. Oh my god. Okay, it's starting to restabilize. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Kinda looks like a PS3 game. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or am I? Jimmy! Dad? We gotta start ki skipping these cutscenes. We've already seen this. We already know how this game goes. How you holding up, honey? Mike Hamilton coming through. Hell yeah, bro. You hear what's on the radio? Yeah, sure thing. We gotta get through this crap so we can play the game. We gotta check out the gore and stuff. Mike Hamblin, brand new member. Mike Hamblin, brand new member. We're dropping frames. Probably the computer's overheating. Unbelievable. We can't zoom in. Can we skip this too? Jesus Christ. Oh. They say how many are dead? Probably a lot. We found this one family all mangled inside their house. I'm feeling a little haptic feedback here on the road. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, how did this happen? They got no clue. But we ain't the only town. We're Those dropping frames again. Seven. Love it. So fantastic. Yeah, I, I really think people maybe would have appreciated this more if they had included a mode where you can switch the graphics in real time. I mean, I know that sounds unnecessary, but it's kind of hard to tell. Not that there's not a difference here, but it's kind of hard to appreciate what they've done. Unless you kind of compare the two. Guys, is this really choppy looking? Because that's so really starting to piss me off here. Keep driving, Tommy. I gotta see if this is getting really choppy. I don't know what's going on. Idea. We could just backtrack and. Would that be sick? Shit. Be infected with the hospital gowns? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Did you see that? Yes, I saw it. God damn. Turn here, turn here. No, 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 no. Come on, people, move. What are they running from? Get us out of here. I'll try it. Ugh. Oh no. We can't stop here, Tommy. I can't fucking drive through them. They're Go. back up there. They're behind me too. There, there, there. Hold on. Go. Look out. All right, here we go. We're gonna finally be able to play. Still a bunch of shit we gotta get through. Daddy? Can't skip this either. Jeez. Hey. Get back. Get back. <laughs> Holy shit, gamer D baby, let's go. 
Game D donated 99 cents through Super Chat. Bro, why does she have long hair? WTF. I gotta see what you said. I can't hear it. What is she have blonde hair? No, what do you mean? I'm, I'm trying to play the game, but there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of cutscene. You know? Guess how we're doing with this audio. Okay, we're gonna start to do really. I want, I want, I want, I want to, I want to look around a little bit here. Okay, let's look around a little bit, cause no one does this. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, I want to look around. The fuck? I guess you can't. Let's stay over here then, let's see here. Let's see if they've really improved the experience here. The lighting looks a lot better. It's like it looks, you can, holy shit, bro. Do the zombies eventually come? No, what do you mean? Disc milk. Disc milk donated two dollars through. No, what do you mean, bro? Multi? There ain't no multiplayer. What you mean? There ain't no multiplayer. Holy sh! Holy fuck! Now another thing they've added here. Another thing they've added here to the photo mode is you can add lights. So let's try this out here. I'm not entirely sure how to do this, but... This looks pretty fucking complicated. Where's the light at? Where's the light? What the fuck? What the fuck? There's the light. Cast shadows. Intensity. It's not even on. It's not even on. What the fuck? How do you turn the light on? What the fuck? This is weird, dude. The light isn't on. What the fuck? Let's just place it here. No. Enabled. On, off. Doesn't work. The light doesn't work. <laughs> the light doesn't work, bro. Gamer D donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through super chat. What is this slot? <laughs> no, what do you mean? Seventy dollars, bro. Bro, the light. I can't get the light. How do you turn the light on? How do you how do you turn the light on? I'm done.
Too complex for me. You can't even look around. We gotta get through all this bullshit, bro. I just wanna play. Let's go see the gas station explosion. You know, let's really test this out. What the fuck, dude? Get off, you dumbass. Let's really test this out. Let's see the interior of this car. Okay. That's as close as you can zoom in, really. I guess we just gotta play it like the normies do, you know? Can't look around, can't appreciate what they've done. The game says no. Should be like a fucking museum mode. Are those zombies? Literally can't tell. Oh, we missed the fucking gas station, Jesus Christ. Let's go right up to the fire. What happens? What happens if you go right up to the fire? No one's ever done this. Oh, that is absolute cringe. Stay away. That's fucking bullshit, dude. What do, do you think if we can, you think we can get to the fire if we run straight right there? It's gonna spawn zombies, ain't it? Let's see. No, there's a pole. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, look, sir. There's no way zombies can get over here. That's fucking bullshit, bro. That's fucking bullshit. Oh my. Guys, I might be falling asleep here soon. Holy shit. This is a snooze fest game, ain't it? We, just, we, we can't look around, we just gotta go. Like the lighting and the pavement, you know, reflections, it's all nice. <gasps> oh no, we're clipping. Oh hell no. I mean, I know you're not supposed to play it like this, but... Keep looking at me, baby. This is a bullet from the ground up PS5 remake, so. Oh, I guess you can. <gasps> I guess you can interact. Gamer D donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through super chat. Lol, 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 lol. It's over. Dude, how do you turn the light on? The depth of field's on too? How is the depth of field on? This whole thing is broken. The fuck? Oh, you, you gotta do it manually. That's fantastic. You gotta do it manually, bro. What the fuck? There needs to be an autofocus system. In a world. Damn, that shit looking pretty fucking crazy. What if we do the frame forward on a scale of 1 to 10, how does this look? I think that's in focus. Let's do the frame forward thing and see if, you know, there might be a way to break the game with the frame forward feature. I'm sure someone's going to figure out how to do it. Seems like that advances the game time or something. I thought it was like fake, but it isn't. 
Dude, how do you do this light thing, bro? How do you do this light thing? Like the, the, this is really... This is really something else, ain't it? Like, I have to ruin my shot to figure out where the light's at. There's no fucking way, dude. Move light. I have to literally zoom out to find the light. I gotta ruin my composition to find some fucking light. Oh. <gasps> Where's the light? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it looks like I'm never using that. It's too hard. Turn that damn depth of field off, Jesus. Holy shit, bro. Hell yeah, bro. We gotta stop playing around and get into the game. We're gonna be here all night. Oh, come on, dude. <gasps> See that? Let me see if I can replicate that. There's no fucking way, bro. That might have been once in a lifetime. Let's see. Come on, grab me. Grab me. Grab me. What is wrong with this game? Oh, no. I mean, I get it. You're not supposed to do this shit, but like... It really is hard to call it a remake. If they really wanted to, to do a proper remake, it would have taken them five, ten years. If we're talking truly built from the ground up, not that this isn't, obviously some assets are. There's a lot that isn't ever going to be appreciated here, but if we're talking full, full-blown remake, some of this stuff, I think, should have been ironed out. But, you know, we're not really playing the game realistically, so I guess that's our fault there. Alright, let's go in the alleyway. Where the fuck is what's-his-face, Tommy? Hey, Tommy. I'm cool. And then the zombie comes over here. And, um, same old PS3 game. <laughs> you know? Same old PS3 game. God damn it. But yeah, the lighting, like this shit looks fucking, this shit looks good, like I'm not gonna lie. The lighting and just the tone of it, I don't know how to describe it, just the lighting and... Oh, it is The Last of Us, guys, holy shit. Guys, how's this audio? Get to the highway! Go! You got Sarah! I cannot run him! I will meet you there! I gotta see if this audio's going. Daddy, we can't leave him! He's gonna be fine. Gotta turn the game audio down a tad bit here. It's getting a little loud now. Turn down the game audio a tad bit. Now we're losing connection. Holy shit, he's back, baby. Gamer D. The fuck? No, no, no. No. Let's go, the gamer girl. Gamer D, hell yeah, brother, we appreciate you. This is the last of us part one, definitely. But the lighting is definitely um, the most obvious improvement, I would say. Just at looking at this. Oh, that's fucking total bullshit, bro. Guys, what do we think so far? We gotta get through this to start playing the game. I, you know, that's actually the most 
interesting part is when you get the guns and start shooting. We gotta test out the gore. We gotta test out the gore. So far, the haptic feedback stuff isn't really all that spectacular. I'm not saying they half-assed on it, but seems uh. Okay, we don't need to watch this. That's too sad. We already know what happens. We gotta jump into the gameplay, but there's more bullshit. You gotta do this weird fucking thing with Tess. Loading times are pretty snappy here. Yeah, there's definitely more detail here, I'll tell you. Skip, come on. We're gonna start observing here. Come on. We're dropping frames again, I love it. Let's see how detailed we're talking. Let's see how detailed we're talking. Damn. Look her thinner. Looks like a high. Holy shit, man, Toba. Manitoba donated $4.99 through Super Chats. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate that. Manitoba coming through. Let's get it, baby. Manitoba coming through with a $5 Super Chat. What am I looking at? Damn, those veins. Whew. It's getting me excited. What if the watch worked? What if the watch worked? I mean, let's get the depth of field on. Let's lower it a tad bit to make it easier to focus. And then we'll go all the way. Oh, there it is. Needs an autofocus depth of field. There's the new Joel. There's the new Joel. The new render. What do we think? What if you can like see his nose hair? I think that's the, like the next level. We need some more fucking exposure on that. My God, they woo. <laughs> you can't zoom in far enough. Holy shit, bro. No. I mean, it looks better, but... Like, it definitely looks fucking better. I mean, I'm not gonna sit out here and say it doesn't. No one's saying otherwise, but... It, it is kind of hard to appreciate... What is new, to be totally honest. But is it is it really a is it really a built from the ground up remake? I mean, I guess it really depends on what you want to focus on and what you know because we don't really know. I don't know how to describe it, but you know, I think built from the ground up that that sort of phrase. Maybe a bit exaggerated, but you know, obviously it looks fucking better. I mean, I, I can tell you that right now. But the game always looks always looked pretty fucking good. I mean, obviously here on the stream it's not gonna look that great. We're you we know we're we're using a low bit rate and shit like that. Quit. <laughs> Holy shit, Levi, let's go, baby. What happens if you go past the barrier? No. Bro, what you mean? Levi coming through with the two. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate that. I thought there were guards over here. What the fuck?
<gasps> There's no fucking way. Oh, I thought I was stuck, bro. Gamer D donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through super chat. Lesbian of us part one. No, what do you mean? Where's Abby? Gamer D coming through hell yeah, but appreciate that. I think he shoots me, yeah. Bro, that was pretty fucked up looking. We gotta just play the game. Like, I really wanna get in the combat. I really wanna start playing the game, but we gotta go through this bullshit ass prologue that's like 50 hours long. So we're just, we're gonna stop fucking around here and get through it. But I'm trying to like, you know, look at things. I mean, that's all you can do, really. <laughs> Ooh, this game is a, uh... How long have we been playing for? Jesus Christ, almost an hour? Fuck me. Almost an hour. Where the fuck's this guy going? Oh, hell no. Invisible walls. Like, yeah, that shit looks fucking... I mean, you can still see the PS3 game here. Y you can still see the PS3 game, absolutely. It's 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 The Last of Us, obviously. But... And, and, it, and it's kind of weird because there's some, like... I don't know how to describe it, but... On one hand, you got these environments that look really fucking clean and sharp. And then, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but... Oh, this is gonna blow up, ain't it? Let's see the haptic feedback right here. This is gonna explode or something like that. We're gonna see the haptic feedback. Okay, it's getting, it's getting more aggressive. It's getting more aggressive. Can you hear it? So far, the, hap the PS5 controller features aren't really. Okay, so we, uh, we, do we got to turn the game audio down? I think we got. I think we got to turn the, turn the game audio down a little bit. I'm assuming that that's. Uh, We just gotta jump into this here. We gotta go through all of this crap. Oh my god. So much for the easy route. Catch yourself up, all right? Okay, that, there, there's some uh, trigger tension here. We're gonna have to go around the outside. Outside the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. Cute. Hey, Tess, you see that shit? I was there. Hey, how's the East Tunnel looking? Yeah, it's clear. I just used it. No patrols. But where are you off to? Gonna pay Robert a visit. You too. Who else is looking for uh, Marlene. I'm going to fall asleep with this. Holy shit. I really hope The Last of Us Part 2 gets this treatment because I think it's just a much more interesting game. I don't know, man. Does it really get you moving within the first 30 minutes or so, you know? Hour or so? Joel? Gets knocked in with a fucking golf club. Like, if that doesn't get you going, nothing will. This, it's just like, nothing's really happening. 
you know? I think the second game is a lot. I, I think the second game is better. Hey guys, how's it going? Then you gotta talk to this dude. Is that fan moving? I think I'm seeing something that doesn't look good. How do you reset? You gotta reset every tab individually. Jesus Christ. Let's see here. And we're dropping frames again. Joel, give me a hand with this. I'll take it easy out there. Be light. Man, I can barely see the screen, bro. This game's dark as hell. Freddy Krueger's down here. Dude, when this comes to PC, they're gonna have, like, crazy-ass mods. Like, I can't imagine this coming to PC. Would Sony really allow that? Because these modders are gonna mod in everything, you know? Come down here as fucking Freddy Krueger or something, that'd be crazy. Yeah, we're dropping frames, but there's nothing that can be done. Let's see the new workbench here. Yeah, so far, you know, obviously high res textures for the most part. Better lighting. But to really appreciate it, I think they should have had a mode like Halo Infinite, Halo Master Collection, whatever it was called, where you could switch simultaneously. There's very little tension. But, um... All right, Texas. Boost me up. I wonder if you can... This is the worst part about this game. You gotta fucking do these, like, ladder little mini-games and shit like that. Like, it's so tedious. But I think there's an option in here where you can skip. Come on. Like there's so much of this in this game. Probably technical limitations. Jesus, it's still not going to restabilize. Unbelievable. Well, regardless, we're going to move the wheels here. Before we fall asleep. Can I get my gun out? Yeah. Let's go shoot things. Yeah, like the lighting is so fucking good looking. Like it's 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 really fucking it ain't gonna show on the stream, but trust me, when you got this up on your TV, shit looks pretty fucking great. Does anything like react? Okay, the vegetation reacts. Don't remember if it did on PS3. We got the flashlight here. God damn. I mean, you can tell they, they, they put work into it, but... You know, to say it's a full-blown remake built from the ground up... I mean, maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe the... <laughs> Let's go, baby. It's stiff. We donated one dollar and ninety-nine cents through super chat. Brought in tenths game. No, this should be stiff, bro. Hell yeah! By the way, appreciate that gamer D coming through. Here we go, the big test. Are you guys ready? The big test. Oh yeah. Spirit gun. Holy fuck. Well, it's got reflections now. Okay. We're going to...
going to do something here. If this reacts, I'm going to shoot a curtain up there. Let's get on top of the car. Oh, you can't. How do you get on top of things? No, it's not letting me. I'm going to shoot a curtain. If the curtain, like, really reacts to the gunfire, I'm going to be blown away, okay? You guys ready? If the curtain reacts when I shoot it, it's time to... <laughs> it's time to say, Neil, I'm on my knees and ready. Ready? Three, two, one... Oh, man. We gotta get through this dumb bullshit, dude. Is there an option where I can just, like, skip all this puzzle shit? Should be accessibility. Dual sense. We, we gotta skip this puzzle shit, bro. I can't, I can't do it. Navigation and traversal. We need to like skip, oh there's cheat codes. Skip puzzle, for the love of God. Like that's the thing, I, I kind of don't. <sighs> there's parts of this game that are not really that fantastic. And if they really wanted to remake it, and I'm talking like, let's kind of go back to the drawing board with The Last of Us, and let's reimagine it, I guess is a better term. You know, in the next 20 years, 30, maybe they'll do it. I mean, I don't know, maybe not. What are we doing here? Holy shit. What are we doing? God damn. Game donated $1.99 cents through Super Chats. Best shit ever. Thank you, brother Lord Mackle. Hell yeah, bro. We appreciate you. Gamer D coming through again and again and again. Maybe let's get it. Let's just shoot this and see what happens. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's looking nice. Where's the fucking ladder, dude? Holy shit, this is... This is a snooze fest. Where's the ladder? I've already got that bitch hidden. Pick it up, man. Got it. Great, bring it over. I thought we were skipping the puzzles. There's so much of this shit in the last was part one. I hate this crap. It's like the whole game. I think I had to. Do, I think it's like a secret loading screen for PS3. I think that's what it was. You must be thinking of someone else. Or like a checkpoint system or some shit like that. This game. Oh my god, we gotta go through this clicker shit. I really wish we could fast forward this shit so we can fight real enemies. We gotta go through this clicker shit, gotta put the gas mask on. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, bro. You know, I will say this. I'm pretty sure in the original version of this, okay, PS3, PS4, remaster, whatever, there's like a green tint to this area and this this doesn't this th this looks pretty generic but I don't know I guess it's supposed to be realistic holy shit bro gamer d donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through super chat my phone's gonna die good night hell yeah bro we appreciate you bro thanks for stopping by thanks for supporting the show man gamer d coming through We'll let you know if we missed anything here. If something exciting happens. Where the fuck do we go? Dude, I just want to fight the enemies. See that new AI. 
Updated AI. Come on, man. This prologue shit is 20 hours long. Gonna fall asleep. Here we go. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty crazy. Why can't I zoom in? There we go. Let's get low on the ground. Oh, you can't. We gotta put it on like infinite ammo. Where the fuck do we go? There we go. Hello? What the fuck is wrong with this game? I thought we just came from here. Stab the enemies. Okay, slowly but surely we're making our way through. Let's have fun in the swamp here. Oh, that's pretty cool. We're having fun in the swamp, guys. So amazing. We're having fun in the swamp. You know, I, I, like I said time and time again, I really wish this had a mode where you could switch graphics and appreciate, because unless you have both games pulled up, I mean, yeah, this looks great, but it, it's hard to kind of recognize the, the leap here, okay? It's hard to recognize the leap when we don't have anything to look back on. And if they had a mode where you could just press one little button, yeah, it'd be gimmicky, but... If they had a mode where you could press one little button, um, that'd be interesting to say the least, but they don't. And I think for something that's um, very similar here, it's it's not, it, you know, it, it, it's still The Last of Us Part 1, and we knew that going in, they said that, but, you know, I think a feature like that would have really worked, and been interesting to see but maybe the ps5 can't handle it oh my god we gotta get another fucking ladder i hate this part i hate this crap dude that's why i don't like this game like it, it, it it's literally 90 percent of this shit dude at least it's beginning here my god it's like every five seconds we're finding something to to cross 
Like, is there an option where it just tells me where to go? I'm gonna start putting fucking arrows on the screen. I know we're having connection issues, but nothing I can do about that. Well, Tess, I haven't found the ladder. I guess we're fucked. I think eventually it tells you, but... If we don't get through this quickly, like, I'm gonna just start falling asleep. Oh, it's right there. Oh, we're looking for a board. That's pretty fucking incognito. Now we gotta walk all the way up with the fucking board, dude. How do we, uh, get back up? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Oh, you give it to her. It's a bit heavy. I think I can handle it. Oh, this is a riveting fucking game. At least in part two, something's fucking happening. You know, they cut back on this shit. I think that's kind of the, uh, you know, the game was much more impressive. This is going to look bad. It's okay. You can start to, you, you can see the PS3 game in here still easily. Even though it's obviously cleaner than ever before and more detail. It looks fucking great in a lot of areas, but the, the PS3 game is still on display here. But I guess that's what we knew going in and, you know, this shit right here looks fucking cool. Guys, I'm trying to get to the combat segment. Make sure they the but it is taking... It is taking a while here. We still gotta go through that one area. going on man this game doesn't pick up like I get the tutorial aspect of it but jeez start snoozing here. I'm, I'm, I'm like literally not even joking, bro. Like, if this shit doesn't get moving quick, maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't have remade this. I mean, was anyone asking for this? Like, I, I really think the second game is better. There's too much of this crap where you just do nothing. Suck a fool, baby. Let's go. Holy shit, bro. Well, it's hard to remember. I think last time I played this was in 2013. Seriously, anyway. All the way through. Hell yeah, bro. We appreciate that. Suck a foot. Suck a fool. Let's skip this shit here. I just want to feel the new combat. You know, we gotta get used to that new combat. So far in the dual sense, not really um, blown away by the dual sense features, but most games don't really utilize it in a way that makes sense. Here we go. Yeah, I mean it. It, it man, man, if you have a great display, we're talking like a modern day TV, and you blow this bitch up on it, like damn. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Half hour ago, we went back to the war. We're there now. Oh, God damn.
Okay, finally. Let's test out this new AI. Of course, we're on like baby mode, but let's test this out here. Let's see how satisfying it's going to feel like the last was part two, I'm assuming. You cannot pass. Why not? I'm Joel, and I'm coming in one way or another. Okay. One shot? Oh my god, dude. No, I want to do it. I want to do it. Oh, it's got, it's got it on that stupid ass mode. Jesus Christ. How do you switch? Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna die. Oh, I got no ammo, dude. Let's just beat his fucking ass, dude. Let's beat his fucking ass. Damn, this is a fucking fight. Holy shit. Come on, bitch. Oh, they have the last thing. They have the last stand thing. You are my favorite streamer, bro. The only one I've ever given money to. Thanks for being funny AF. Also, Elden Ring the tea, baby. Hell yeah, bro. Appreciate it. AK coming through, baby. Let's go. AK coming through with the five. Hell yeah, bro. We appreciate that. Let's blow some brains out, man. Guys, are you ready? Let's, let's do the gore test, okay? We gotta see if this is on the same level of Last of Us Part 2. Ready? Three, two, one. I think it's the same gore system. The blood runs down. Let's shoot the hand. Let's shoot the skull again here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I, th I think it's the same system. Looks pretty similar. I don't think it's held back. I mean, it should be... I mean, if it's built from the ground up on PS5, it should be, uh... Should be, uh... Pretty spectacular. Alrighty, well. We gotta do another ladder thing, dude. Are you fucking serious? We gotta do another piggyback situation here. I really wish this shit was not a thing. That has to, you can tell now that that was a PS3 thing at the time. It's like, well, we have to kind of load this new area in. Or at least do checkpoint systems. How do we do it? And I've got no ammo. Oh, I do. Oh, jeez. It's gonna start to pick up here soon, I think. Let's see. Let's go down the hole. We gotta turn it on like... How do we adjust the difficulty here? 
Let's turn it up a notch. There we go. Oh. Restart the current. Holy shit, mono bow, let's go. Mono memory donated ten pounds through super chat. Hey man, just played six hours and disappointed. The melee combat lets the game down compared to path two. Graphics and the feel are the only things going for it really. Ran into new spots as well. Damn. Yeah, I mean it's 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 not part two. And I, I really wish part two, hopefully they give it this treatment. Because, I, you know, maybe I'm the only one, but I think part two is just a better game. The combat's more interesting. There's just a lot more elements going on. The story gets you amped up, fired up. This is just kind of like, yeah, it's a great game, but, you know, part two is a different beast. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of how I feel as well. Mono, hell yeah, but we appreciate you. You called in earlier. I think. Why is it doing this, like, aim assist thing? Do we have to really up it again? Moderate. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see if it does. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing that? Controls. Aim assist, turn off. Oh, jeez. Lock on aim. Okay. Then let's turn this shit down. If that resets that setting, I'm gonna be super fucking annoyed. Okay, there we go. Ready? Cover me, I'm moving up. Cover me, I'm moving up. What the fuck? We gotta do another another test over here, right here. We gotta do another test. Do you think do you think that when we shoot the monitor there's gonna be a bullet hole? Let's see. Okay, yeah. Didn't uh, think that was going to happen. Let's see if this is a... Uh... Okay. Yeah, after, after going from part two to this, it is just kind of, it's not as interesting, gameplay-wise, anyway. So, I mean, I guess I can see now why they would have, uh, why people are mad about, you know, the gameplay enhancements not coming over to this remake. Because it kind of, but then again, it's, it's, a, it, it's The Last of Us, I mean, yeah, Last of Us Part Two gameplay is much, it's way fucking better. I, I really hope they they kind of give it the uh, treatment here that they're giving this with the visuals and stuff. 
But I mean, I guess this is fine. Ready? <gasps> He's got a Halloween mask on. He's got a Halloween mask. Oh my god. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's all the meat. Does this do the blood trails? Yeah, it's doing it. It's doing it. I'm pretty sure in part two you can move the bodies a little bit. Maybe not. Do we do, can we do bloody footprints? Can we do bloody footprints? There's no bloody footprints. I'm out of fucking bullets. 
gonna pay for that. Fuck these guys. Where'd you go? more people. You just slow us down. Yeah, all right. Holy fuck. Come on, the docks are this way. Let's do this. Oh man. I wonder how the chain's gonna feel on the dual sense here. I wonder how the chain is gonna feel. Mm. Not not really not really um mm. Yeah, I mean you kind of have to be a die-hard fan to pick this up right now for 70, let's just say that. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, yeah, it looks a lot better. I mean, you can tell the lighting's better, the fucking resolution, frame rate, all that shit, but... After playing 2, I mean, if two, if, if part 2 didn't exist, if part 2 didn't exist, I think this would be... um more impressive, but the combat, it's just not as engaging, in my opinion. I think the last was part two combat's a little bit, a little bit more uh, complex, you know? And not just because you have dodge and prone, but there's just a little bit more to it, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Hey, master. Yeah, that shit's realistic and stuff, but... shouldn't have remade this game. It is not good. I mean, it's just... Shit is a PS3 game through and through. Like, this AI is trash. 
I mean, I know it's on fucking easy and shit, but like, dude, this is nothing like part two. Like, it kind of just wants, I kind of just want to play part two again. Because you just have a little bit more at your disposal. Oh, but Michael, you suck. It's like, yeah, I, I fucking suck. And there's, you know, great accessibility options for a f fucking gamer like me, but... Like, it, you know, it's just one-dimensional fucking gameplay here. You know, if I were Ellie in part two, I'd fucking be able to jump on my back like Max Payne. Go prone. I, I don't think the game... I don't know if this holds up as well in 2022. But, like, even if they gave it the last was part two combat, I just don't think the game is really all that interesting. Because at least in part two, you're, like, motivated to fucking, like, okay, let's find Abby, let's fucking blow her brains out, you know, that's what the player wants to do after she kills Joel. And then they force you to play as her to try and get you to, like, bond with Abby. It's actually... It's actually, um... <laughs> it's just better than this. Like, I'm not saying this doesn't have emotional pull. Obviously it does, but... Like, I, I am actually kind of bored playing this. Like, I kind of don't want to play the... I don't want to play part one. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. Like, even the AI seems really stupid. And these animations, too. Like, I don't know, bro. Guys, what do we think about the gore system here? I'm gonna look at the chat. I'm gonna look at the chat in a moment. Do we think the gore system here is about as on par as two, or is it better here? I don't. I don't know if it's better, but I only have some shitty handguns. So if we get the explosive arrows or some shit, we'll see. To me, it looks pretty fucking similar. It's gotta be the same. It's on the same engine now, so it's got to be the same. I, I really kind of... I, I kind of can't tell. Let me see what the chat says here. Is the gore in this as as on is the gore in this on the same level as part one? I mean part two. I mean it should be better, it's on PS5. Like if this is truly a game that is taking advantage of the CPU improvements, the GPU improvements, the RAM memory bandwidth, I mean we should be seeing pretty big improvements here. But really, when when you think about it, when you think about it, if they have The Last of Us Part 3 coming, or if they have something other than this coming within the next 5 to 10 years, they wouldn't want to blow their load with this right off the bat. So even if they have more coming, because I don't think this is really... I mean, I'm not a fucking dev or an engineer... I'm just a dumbass, but there's no way this is really taking full advantage of PS5. I mean, unless the PS5 isn't as powerful as we were led to believe. The PS5's got to be a little bit more capable than this, right? Let's see what the chat's saying about the gore here. 
Let's see what the chat is saying about the gore here. The fact that the dual sense is not present that most tell you how this really is? What? Are you guys saying I'm playing on PC? What? What are you talking what are you guys talking about? We're literally on PS4. There's nothing else you can play this on. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Raggedy. Ref Gaddy donated two Australian dollars through Super Chat. It's a slower paced game than the second. Yeah. You know, like I said, I think if this if this came out before number two did, I think it would be appreciated a little bit more. Well, now that it's not, but going from two to this, back to this. It just doesn't really, um, I don't know. Guys, what about this gore here? There's a lot of fucking blood, man. This might be better. I think this has to be better. I think there's more blood here. Uh-oh. Dude, I'm pretty sure you can move bodies in part two. Is this better? There might be more blood, but I can't remember. Let me check in on something here. I think someone came through, but it didn't read out. I think it was Arthur Morgan. It disappeared. Let's get to Ellie. How long is that, bro? I don't. I might be done with this game. I don't. I don't really want to play this game. I, I kind of want to. Might have to just download two instead. It's like, yeah, the graphics are nice looking and shit, but after part two and the improvements on gameplay to that and and the AI here isn't, I'm not seeing improved AI. And now, again, I'm, I'm on stupid mode. You know, I'm on baby mode or whatever, but. The AI, I'm not necessarily, um. Not really seeing the improvement. Uh, I'm playing it like an idiot too, but I don't know. How far to get to Ellie? Like fucking three hours, dude. Literally fall asleep playing this for three hours. Because essentially what you're doing is you're taking the framework of the PS3 and it's, this is a PS3 era game through and through. Last of Us Part 2 is only on, um, it's only on, um, PS4, it's not on PS3, so. Mono memory coming through, I'm not sure why that's not popping up. Mono memory coming through again. Enemies don't react to gunshots as much, but gore is on par with part two. 
However, glitches, 2013 animations, dated melee, AI, and that doesn't seem much improved. Just make it hard to go back after part two. That, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of how I feel. I hate to be a Debbie Downer about this, but like, like I mean, it it it, it kind of is a, it, it's kind of more of a remaster than a remake. Which I mean, it is what it is, but. That cinematic combat in the second game, you're not you're not getting that here. You're here. I know a way around this. Come on. And apparently it's buggy too, so we'll hopefully we don't run into any bugs, but we'll see. Yeah, bro, we appreciate that model memory coming through, Arthur Morgan coming through, and there was one other person that I forgot. Rat Caddy, I think. Try not to fall asleep here, but my god. Let's see how this looks. Photo mode. Now, would a skyscraper really be leaning like that? There's no way. Jeez Louise. Fucking 20 hour opening. Sunflare. Yeah, I could see PC, when this comes to PC, whenever that is, I can see the PC modders adding in, um, I could see the PC modders adding in the dodge and prone stuff, maybe. Crazy shit like that. I think the, the modding for this will be crazy. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, the dual sense features aren't really all that great. It, it's pretty mid. Like, there's nothing spectacular going on. I'm not feeling things with the dual sense. It just feels like rumble. <laughs> Mono memory donated 10 pounds through super chats. Enemies don't react to gunshots as much, but gore is on par with two. However, glitches, 2013 animations, dated melee, either doesn't seem much improved, just make it hard to go back to a... Yeah. Why the hell did that just pop up? What the hell's going on here? Hell yeah, bro, we appreciate that model memory. Yeah, like I said, I mean... 70 might be a tad steep, I don't know. I really... was hoping that I wouldn't feel this way, but after... Experiencing it here, I'm not sure. It's like, yeah, graphically, it's 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 a pretty decent leap, but it's like, yeah, this shit looks the environments like. Fucking man, you play this on a big TV? My god. People are gonna be blown away, like holy fuck. But outside of that? You heard of it, I will drop you! Is 
Do they recognize if I have auto? Are they are they saying anything? I can't hear the game. Do they recognize if I'm out of ammo like in part two? And I wonder if they use names when their enemies are down. Oh shit. God, this AI dude. Oh, man. It's like, yeah, everything looks like a big wallpaper, you know, it looks fucking immaculate, spectacular, but. Like I said, the DNA of a PS3 game is still on display here. You know, if, but if you were to compare this to the PS3 version, like, you would see a pretty decent difference here. In these areas that are kind of, uh... You know, who's looking down there, you know? <laughs> This game takes forever to get going, dude. I mean, the, the second game, you know, you gotta do the snowball fight. And you gotta walk in the route. You gotta walk around the, the little town and shit, but... Once it gets going, it fucking gets going. It's, 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 it's such a beast. Shit's roaring. And when you see the golf club scene, it's like, oh my fucking god, dude. Holy fuck, dude. I'm sorry, but Neil Druckmann's got fucking balls to do that. Like, just thinking about it and, and watching that scene, like, dude. Oh my fucking god. Like, this game doesn't have the balls that part two does. This is like a lifetime version of the last of us compared to part two part two is like we don't give a fuck about what you think here's abby smashing joel's facing with the fucking golf club and the player just wants to throw the fucking controller at the screen like it is such a great setup it's not even fucking funny then they force you to play as abby and that's actually even better it's like dude and you start to kind of bond with abby a little bit and then the big fight scene at the end I'm sorry, but it, it's just a much better game. This is just... This is 2013, you know? <laughs> oh, we, we have Ellie. We got Ellie. Let's go see these... Go let's, let's, I gotta say this right now, guys. Oh, no. Oh, fuck no. Is the depth of field off? Oh, no. Bro. I'm seeing some fucking PS2 textures here. Oh, fuck me, dude. Let's make sure the depth of field is off. They forgot. They fucking forgot. These are, these are definitely PS3 textures. That shit's fucking blurry, bro. That shit's pixelated. Oh shit, they, f they forgot to... to redo this. I know this is nitpicking, but... When you, when you come out and say this is built from the ground up... Like, even if they n never had said that, and just said this is a remake for PS5, but built from the ground up... Like, I get it, you gotta push it, you gotta market it, you gotta sell it, you know, you gotta... 
but when we're seeing these like low res textures here and again I know we're nitpicking I'm sorry but that that's that's not built from the ground up I'll be really impressed if this reacts I mean if if this is truly built from the ground up then maybe the PlayStation 5 isn't as powerful as as we think it may be. I mean, we're only like two years into the generation. It, I'm going to tell you this right here and right now. From what I've played this far, from what I've played this far, this could have easily been done on PS4. There could have been a PS4 version of this. Easily. There, there's nothing here that says this can only be done on PS5. Nothing. I mean, maybe the image would be a little bit degraded on PS4, the resolution less, frame rate less, but what we're playing right now could have easily been done on PS4. Look at The Last of Us Part 2. One of the best looking games on PS4. You know, this could have easily been done on PS4. But there's really no point in doing that. Guys, let's see if they, uh, yeah, they fixed that. Those gumball machines, bro, they didn't fix that. That's weird. The gumball machines are like low res. Everything else is pretty decent looking. Let's try this again here. I mean, again, it's super nitpicky, but just the uh, the soccer ball one stands out a little bit. I know it's nitpicky, but like I said, this is PS5 exclusive, dude. Like, I'm not saying the game looks like trash just because of that, but I'm expecting something here for 70 bucks for the uh built from the ground up PS5 tagline like I'm expecting something here you know and I just I just don't I, I just oh my god is this another ladder segment oh my god bro this this is another ladder segment What are we doing? Where are we going? I guess we go in the basement. Do those disappear? There's no way to know. In The Last of Us Part 2, when you're close to an object, doesn't the character sort of do that like Uncharted thing where they kind of touch the object a little bit? I'm not seeing that here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that this isn't really coming together like I thought it was. I might have to change my opinion and say don't buy. I'm not even kidding, dude. I mean, unless you're a super hardcore fan of this first game here. So far, I'm not. Oh my god, it's the dumpster. Every fucking, like, 
20 minutes in this game, you're either fucking helping boost someone up, you're cook, you're, you're taking a ladder and putting it on the fucking ledge, you're moving the dumpster around, like, I, I can't with this game, dude. I mean, you, ha you, you do this in part two as well, but... Where are we taking this? This is... I, I, where's the skip puzzle option? Like, I'm pretty sure I turned that shit on. You know, let's take it off performance mode. Maybe that's... Hold on, hold on. I forgot. Oh, there's skip puzzle. Let's take it off performance mode because that's... That's... We're going to take it off performance mode. Mono memory donated five pounds through super chat. I'll email you the five or so glitch clips I encountered tonight if you want. It is alarming to see such a lack of polish from ND this time around. Damn. Yeah, so far nothing here. Yeah, if you send a move, we'll definitely check them out probably tomorrow. Hell yeah, bro. We appreciate that mono memory coming through. Yet again. Now, one of the things that we want to do right now, I forgot. We're on performance mode. Of course, that's going to slightly degrade the image, I'm assuming. I mean, I'm not Digital Foundry, but let's turn it on fidelity mode. I'm not sure why. I don't know why people like performance. I mean, I want the best that this has to offer in terms of visuals. So now we're on, perform we're on fidelity mode. Can we go back to the gumball machine? Could you imagine if that fixes it? Guys, we're going to go back to the gumball machine and see. This is the best that this game can look. We are in fidelity mode now. I forgot about performance mode, bro. So now it should look even better. We're going to go back to the gumball machine. I don't think this is going to fix it, but I'm going to be... If it fixes it, I'm going to be blown away. There's no fucking way, dude. We gotta get closer, but I don't think the answer is yes here. Photo mode, no. I mean, it's it's really not... I mean, you know, obviously no one gives a shit, but... Let's keep it on the fidelity mode. We were on performance mode the entire time, so... Let's take it to fidelity mode here, which we're on now. Let's see how this operates in fidelity mode. And apparently the game is pretty buggy, so hopefully we don't encounter any uh, crazy bugs. But that is kind of alarming. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a PS3 game. I mean, it really depends on how much you want to replay this game and that sort of thing. But I would like to see The Last of Us 2 get some uh, further enhancements, at least. Well, let's continue moving the wheels here before we fall asleep, Jesus Christ. And it seems like the AI is really not Oh, how do you how do you recharge the flashlight? Don't you shake your controller What's the deal with you, Marlene, to recharge the flashlight? Dude, I'm pretty fucking sure in the PS3 version you had to shake your controller, but no one remembers. Where are you, With the six axes. Why am I walking like a fucking turtle? The fuck is going on, dude? I guess they're talking. I, I can't hear game audio, so... Oh, is this really like camp out or something? Is it? Yeah, 
Okay, that's the home base. Oh man. Are you ready to be disappointed? No. <gasps> oh, man. Maybe they should have just kind of left this game alone. It's, yeah, it's like it's like it's exciting to see this with PS5 textures and shit. Well, for the most part, but at the same time, we're, we're playing a PS3 game here. There's no ifs ands or buts. That's what we're doing. We're playing a PS3 game here, and it's 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 becoming. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Like I can't, I can't even feel the rain on the dual suns. I mean, we're not outside yet, but the hell, she got a secret passage. The dual suns features are pretty underwhelming, to be totally honest with you. But most games are. You, you would think Naughty Dog would have went all in. But I guess there's what what more can you do here with it? I guess with the accessibility options they did. Holy fuck, can we go? <gasps> oh Jesus Christ. Hello? Oh oh no. It, it really just feels like standard vibration. Like, I am actually... Why is this so hard? Uh, wow, it's... It, it's li I don't even think they fucking... Why is this game so fucking dark? Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Alright. We're good. Come on up. Come on, kid. Watch your step. Bro, you literally. Bro, you can't even. You, there's no vibration for the raindrops, dude. Like I know I'm nitpicking, but you've got to be fucking kidding me, bro. Like this is bad. 
If it's there, it is subtle as fuck. Okay, it, it's there, but I'm talking barely on the raindrops. It is barely on. Like, I can barely feel it. Maybe it, maybe it intensifies. Yeah, the, the dual sense features are trash. I'm sorry. There's nothing special about the dual sense features here. The one game that really utilizes the dual sense is the Astro free game that came with the PS5. That's like the only game that really pushed it and said, this is what we can do with this controller. And it's like, that's fucking cool. This is very lazy. I'm sorry, this is lazy, dude. Like, you can sort of hear the rain, but, like, you can bear You can't feel shit, dude. You're supposed to feel the fucking, like, environments, the immersion, things like that. Like, I can't... Hmm. Th this is actually getting more and more disappointing. And I, w I was saying, guys, like, you know, let's give Naughty Dog the benefit of the doubt, and this is a remake because they're remaking certain assets and stuff like that, but... For seventy, I, I don't. I don't think I can recommend it for seventy. I mean, unless you're a massive, massive fan of the first game, I, I, I just, you know, the Dual Sense features are lacking. It still feels like a PS3 game. The combat is lacking. But you know, then again, I mean, if you want Last of Us with PS5 um, flair to it, then definitely buy it. But. Oh, this rain looks like total shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this this rain... Dude. This this rain is fucking straight... Th guys. 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 <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This rain, dude. Look at this rain. That's fucking bad, dude. Oh, but Michael, you're nitpicking. And it's like, yeah, you know what? Probably am. But when you say built from the ground up, now comes the expectations of, okay, that's what they said. Why would they lie? It's Naughty Dog, you know? Have no reason to doubt them. But then you start to see these PS3 elements return. Like straight up PS3 elements return. And it's like, okay, well, that's neat and all, but not really. Now there's like this weird fucking like, one moment the game looks fucking visual, visually crisp. The next moment you're starting to see shit like straight out of the PS3 era. The rain is bad. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh man, dude. The, 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 maybe maybe this scored too high. Jesus Christ, guys. There was another game that did rain really well. <laughs> Holy shit. Mono memory donated two pounds through Super Chats. The reality of the situation, it's over. No. <laughs> I, dude, I, I, I wanted to come out on top on, and say, you know, this is actually worth it. It's great to have a PS5, but th th this isn't this isn't what I expected. I'm not even kidding. You know, oh, I'm cynical. Oh, I'm jaded. And it's like, you know, maybe I am a little bit, but fuck. When I see PS3 elements in a built-from-the-ground-up remake, I'm sorry, but that's inexcusable. Like, it just does not look good. And this this dual sense implement this dual sense implementation is trash. Straight up dog, dude. Like it, it's bad. I th maybe maybe this was like at one point a PS4 project. <laughs> like I'm starting to kind of think maybe it was. Like don't get me wrong, this shit looks visually, but you take away that aspect, there's li and I mean little here. So you got to go in knowing that. And and again, the fact that we can't jump back to the old graphics and see 
the fact that we can't jump back to the old graphics in real time and see is, is kind of making me appreciate this less because I don't know what it, I don't remember what it used to look like. So if you don't have that right in front of you, it's hard to recognize um, what has been done here. So maybe this is like a massive quantum leap here in terms of, holy shit, the rain actually looks good compared to the PS3 version, but I don't know. Oh no, it's clipping. Dude, I'm pretty sure in part two it doesn't clip. Like it gets on Ellie's head and she kind of reacts. Like, I'm telling you, dude, there's a, there, there is a big leap between the two games. Why can't I fucking see anything? Holy shit. I guess I was expecting too much, but... And the mar I think the marketing department really, they went a little overboard with this shit. Where do we go? Oh, Jesus Christ. We're going to die instantly, too. Yeah. Wow, there's like no bullet holes. This is getting this. It's it's almost like the game's de like degrading in real time. Like I'm not saying don't buy it, but you're gonna have to definitely go in knowing what you want and what you're gonna get out of this. Let's just go. Fuck this spotlight shit, dude. This is trash. It's like yeah, I get it. We you know. You don't have patience, Michael. You're rushing. You're not even playing it properly. Like, I, I, I get those complaints, but dude. It is a snooze. How the fuck did I get back to that place? The game isn't fun. Look at that. It's clipping right through, bro. Whatever you do, my friends, do not miss this game. I've never played a game before that mixes strategy and puzzles like Ebony. They, they... They really should they really should have called it a remaster. Because, you know, e even if they're technically correct in some in some way when you see the word remake, you're thinking something a little bit more. And you know, when I see things like this, this PS3 DNA sort of resurfacing, it, it, it you know, it's just like why did I buy the PS5? It's like they went back in and they up the textures, better character models, Last of Us 2 stuff here and there, but yeah, again, it's a full price game. It's not like it's 40 bucks or 60, it's 70. So, I don't know. It's getting late, guys. This game just... Oh, he's touching the wall. Gaffington donated two Australian dollars through Super Chats. All Sizzlers know stay. 58 viewers? What the fuck? Is this shit offline? The hell's going on? 
Yeah, I mean, the dual sense features are not. I am not impressed. Wow, why did we drop off in so many viewers? The fuck? What happened? <clears throat> Must have been a big connection issue here. I mean, I don't, I don't really feel like playing it much longer anyway, to be honest. I think we've seen a lot of what it has to offer. Now they're shooting hardcore, and then it's crazy. Like, there's just too much PS3 shit in here still. But, but really, the, the dual sense, man, this connection is total trash tonight. The dual sense is... Very underwhelming. The dual sense features are very underwhelming. Unless we have it on the wrong setting. Which is kind of disappointing. That's like the main attraction for the PS5, especially with these first-party titles. It's like, okay, how are they going to implement the dual sense features and stuff like that? But we got some stealth mechanics here, guys. Let's go take this guy out from behind. It looks like we can't jump down there. Wait, if you get spotted, it's mission over. Fuck this crap, dude. Stop jumping. Oh, we're on pure red signal on this connection. What the fuck? Oh, man. There's a lot of nothing happening in this game. Maybe I'm not remembering part two correctly, but it seems like there's just not um, not as much going on here as the first game. This game is... <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why I never really cared to play it again. I wasn't really a big fan of the first game. Played the second one all the way through, and I'm like, yeah. Like, it motivated me to continue playing. Like, it's like, okay, fuck Abby. She fucking bashed Joel's face in, you know? She bashed, she, she, you know, like, like, okay. Now I'm fired up. Now I gotta fucking seek revenge as Ellie... And, you know, you go to Joel's funeral and shit, and it's just, it's, you know, it's just pulling you in. What are we doing? What the fuck does, what the fuck? We're holding. Another loading checkpoint, Jesus. We've been playing this for two hours and 30 minutes. It's like, yeah, the visuals are better, but...
guess you got any idea which way? Yeah. Let's see where this leads. I'm done. I think I'm done, guys. Let's see what else they have. I don't I don't think I'm gonna play this again. This game is not interesting. Maybe Left Behind is better. I've never played that. Maybe Left Behind is better. Concept art. Oh, you got a fucking... That's stupid. Let's see the detail here. Yeah, it, it, it's just... Th this could have been done on PS4, I'm sorry. It's the same model viewer as The Last of Us Part Two. Yeah, I'm, I'm not impressed here. I'm, I'm not impressed. It's not working for me. It's not working. I mean, the dual sense features are so fucking underwhelming. It's not even funny. You can tell they didn't try. Like they were, you know, maybe the arrow shit's fucking neat. I haven't got the arrow, but like, bro, so far anyway, this dual sense shit. Very fucking underwhelming. I think GTA 5 had better implementation than this. So that's ridiculous. Combat still feels like PS3 combat, because it is. Um, yeah, overall, this is definitely way for a sale. Unless you're a diehard fan, which if you are, you've already bought it. I, I'm not discouraging anyone to, to go out and buy it at 70, but... This is definitely a remaster. It's not something that was truly built from the ground up on PS5. There's there's just no way. If they really wanted to remake this in a proper sense, it would take way too long than it's worth, probably. They'd rather focus on the future of this franchise and probably a new IP or something, which makes sense. Well, the multiplayer, that's, that's not in here. They're making their own multiplayer thing, so... Um, I don't know, it just seems like it's not really... The game is boring. Like, the game is actually kind of boring. The AI, the AI I, don't, I don't think, has been improved. Dude, and, the, and, the, and the, you know, and I, I don't have game audio, so maybe they, maybe they were communicating, communicating with each other, but in The Last of Us Part Two. Like, when you take out an enemy, the other enemy notices, the other NPC notices, and, oh my god, what happened to Sarah? Sarah! 
you know, and it's just like it, it just, you know, maybe that's happened here. I don't have a game audio, but, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to keep playing this for now. I think I've wasted 70, but, you know, you guys came through and helped support the show, so we wanted to jump in and see if it was really something that's, you know, going to make people go out and buy a PS5, but no, that's not, that's not what we're seeing here. I, I'm actually pretty disappointed, to be honest. Um... It just feels like a PS3 game still. It's not a remake. A remake would imply that there's a little bit more juice to it, more depth, but this dual sense shit is trash. I'm, I'm sorry. They hype that up too. They're like, oh, you can feel the arrow, and, you know, maybe the arrow shit's what it's really for. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know. So I think we're going to call it here. Uh, if we if we do play this again, I want to I wanna do Left Behind. Because I've never played that, so maybe that'd be more interesting. But yeah, the, the DNA of a PS3 game is still very much so here on display, and that's a little disappointing because, again, this is a remake apparently from the ground up on PS5, and it's just very reminiscent of the experience on PS3. So, um, and, I, and again, if it, it, it doesn't help the fact that you can't, it's hard to appreciate what was done here because obviously they put work into it, no doubt, but. It's hard to appreciate that when there's not a toggle between the old graphics on PS4 to the PS5 version. I think had they included something like that, that would have been neat, even if it's kind of gimmicky. But, yeah guys, that, that's going to do it for now. We played this for about 2 hours and 30 minutes, and it's just kind of... We have moved mountains for you and picked out only the top products at the best prices. Shop only on June.